Welcome to the SSL Visibility Appliance Deployment Wizard. This interactive document has been designed to help you with the installation and configuration of your SSL Visibility Appliance. In this video, you will see how to use the wizard to determine the required configuration steps depending on your specific deployment scenario. There are several tools available in this wizard to simplify the configuration tasks. The tools included are on the top right deployment. This is a list of the deployment modes. If you know the exact deployment mode you desire to employ with your SSL VA, simply select it from the list and you will be presented with the configuration steps. Next is overviews. This is a list of basic concepts that apply to the SSL VA with detailed descriptions and diagrams to ensure you understand the concepts. There is also a glossary of the terminology used in the SSLVA documentation and training manuals. This web guide is interactive. By asking you questions to determine your deployment mode, which will lead you to the configuration steps for your specific setup. To start the process, click on the Start Deployment Mode Wizard text here. The first question is the mode of the security device or devices that you will be connecting to the SSL VA. Options are active, passive, a combination of both active and passive, or with the Blue Coat Proxy SG appliance. We will select active for this demonstration. Now we select whether we desire to look at the traffic inbound to the corporate network or outbound from the corporate network. We select outbound and proceed to the next question. If there is a power failure on the SSL VA, do you want the traffic to fail to the appliance where all traffic is still sent to the security device but no SSL decryption is performed by the SSL VA? Or do you want to fail to network, sending the traffic to the other side of the network bypassing the security device? We will select Fail to Appliance. This brings you to the step required to configure this installation including a basic diagram. You may also scroll to the bottom of the page and either download a PDF with step-by-step -step instructions or click the YouTube icon to connect to a video that will walk you through the configuration steps. In each of the configuration steps there is a link that contains the details with diagrams when applicable. At the end of the instructions there is a link to the next step. When a configuration is complete, there are steps to test the configuration and view the results in the SSL session log. At any time, you may go back to the beginning of the web guide by clicking on the title bar. Thank you.